These sorts of questions are very, very common, and especially now simultaneous equations appear on foundation and higher exams, they're a good way of differentiating between different students. So some people go to the cinema. Four adults and two children cost £47. I'm going to have to set that up as some algebra. So I'm going to write down, for the first equation, I'm going to write down that four adults and two children cost £47. Now, the second equation tells me that one adult and three children cost £25.50. So I'm going to write that down as well. One adult and three children cost £25.50. The question then says work out the cost of an adult and a child ticket. Now using the normal rules of simultaneous equations we're going to have to multiply these until these values are the same. Now I'm going to make them both be 6c and that's going to involve, going to involve multiplying the top one by 3 and the bottom one by 2. So when I multiply the top one by 3 I'll be left with 12a add 6c equals 141 pounds. Now when I multiply the bottom one by 2, I'll be left with 2a add 6c equals 51 pounds. Again, normal rules of simultaneous equations. If these signs here are the same, we subtract. If the signs are the same, we subtract. Now, if those signs are different, we would add. But as these signs are both add, they are the same, so we're going to subtract. So we're now going to do the top row, take away the bottom row. So we're going to do this as a big takeaway. Well, 12a take away 2a is 10a. 6c take away 6c, they've gone, they always go. And 141 take away 51 is 90. Dividing both sides by 10, because I want to know what 1a is, tells me that a is 9. So we now know that an adult is 9 pounds. Okay, so what we're going to do that is what we're going to do with that is put it back into one of the equations to work out the value of a child ticket. This is actually quite easy to do because you can just work it out in your head or work it out mathematically using the information in the worded equation. I'm going to do it the, the proper formal method and put it back into the first equation and work out mathematically the value of C. So we know that 1a is 9. So 4a's will be 4 times 9, that will be 36. And I'm going to write out the rest of that equation, add 2c equals 47 pounds. Notice I've just written 36, not 36a, because 4 times by 9 is 36, not 36a. Okay, just solving this as a normal equation now by taking 36 off both sides. Gives me the fact that 2c is will be 11 pounds and dividing by 2 tells me that a child ticket is 5 pound 50. I can add that now to the information I know. Now to check these questions are right is not hard and at the end of the exam paper I would urge everyone to do this just go back and check that your values work for the question, the numbers in the question. So four adults, four nines, that would be 36. Two children, two five pound fifties are 11. And that does add up to 47 pounds. Let's check it on the other one. One adult will be nine pound. Three children will be 16.50. And nine and 16.50 does make 25.50. OK, have a go now at this question, which is taken from one of the sample exam papers from the new GCSE. 
pause before we go through the answer. OK, so we start by writing our algebra. 3p add 2r equals 92, and 1p add 3r equals 68. These parts of the equations are not the same, so we need to multiply. Now I'm going to cross multiply, or multiply them by the opposite number. So because the top one's got 2r, that's what I'll multiply the bottom one by. And the bottom one's got 3r, so that's what I'll multiply the top one by. Remembering the golden rule, if the signs here are the same, we will subtract. These signs are the same, they are both add, so we will now subtract. 7p is £1.40, or 140 pence. need to divide by 7 to work out what p is. So p equals 20, or a pen is 20 pence. OK, so we've got this information about pens. Let's substitute it now back in to the first equation, this value back into this equation to work out the value of r. So 3p's are 60. Add 2r's equals 92. As always, just solve this like a normal equation. And we solve to find out what r is. r equals 16 pence. And then, as always, let's use these values, the 20 pence for a pen and the 16 pence for a ruler to check our answers. Three pens would be 60, two rulers would be 32, and yet they add up to 92 pence. One pen would be 20, three rulers would be 316, that's 48, and 20 and 48 make 68. Perfect, I know that answer's correct.